you need help. All right, guys. So uh, let's just say this horn sounds incredible. I have an idea. Let's do a like challenge. Let's do 10,000 likes. And uh, we will put the Dixie horns on the Lambo. Actually, we'll get Dixie horns for the whole fleet. Uh, yeah, 10,000 likes. We'll make it happen. All right, let's do it. We're about to roll to the shop. Actually, first, I gotta go to my house. I'm actually at my parents right now. I gotta grab the horns, then we're gonna head over to the shop, and we're gonna get started on uh, installing these Dixie horns on the Duramax. I should have done them a while ago, but we're doing it. Let's go start the Cummins up. Hopefully, it's, this thing's been sitting for a little bit. Let's see. Let's see what she's got. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, as you guys know, we are in the commons right now, about to head to my house. We gotta go pick up the horns, the wiring kit or whatever for the Dixie horns. And then we're heading to the shop. Um, but first, I wanna ask you guys a question. Uh, this really helps the channel, and I wanna see what you guys wanna see. So, what kind of content do you guys look forward to on my channel? Is it the Cummins, Square Body, Duramax, HOA Drama, Huracan? Probably not the Huracan because the views on the last video are absolutely atrocious. So, um, yeah, let me know. I wanna hear exactly what you guys wanna see in the comments. Let me know. This thing is getting new wheels and tires, it's getting a wrap, it's getting cab lights, all kinds of awesome stuff. Um, this truck's gonna be incredible. I kinda wanna do like a, like a I wouldn't say lowered, but I want, I want like more of like a stance, like race build on this truck. As you guys know, I love lifted vehicles, but I don't want to have all three of my trucks lifted. Um, it'd be cool to have a little bit of a change up, have this one on 14 wides, maybe more of like a little stance, like, like I said, race build. Have the square body lifted, Duramax will be lifted even higher with a solid axle swap. So um, yeah, let me know in the comments, what do you guys want to see on the channel? And I'll do my best to make that happen because the shop's almost ready to open and so this kind of content is gonna be uh, a lot easier to film and it's gonna be a lot more frequent. So be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna run to the house, grab them, and run to the shop, and I'll see you guys there. Before we get any further into this video, this video is brought to you by Manscaped.com, a premium global brand for men's grooming and hygiene products. And Manscaped just launched their fourth generation trimmer, the Lawnmower 4.0. I'm very excited to be one of the first to try this thing out. I'm already blown away by the performance and the craftsmanship of it. Of course, it is fully waterproof. The Lawnmower 4.0 also has ceramic blades with skin safe technology. Helps you avoid those nicks and cuts, and the blade is very easily replaceable. And charging is super easy using their new wireless charging system, and you can get up to 90 minutes on a full charge. Get 20% off and free international shipping when you use the code B850 at manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. All right, guys, so we are going to be doing this Dixie Horn setup. We have a sweet metal plate here. Courtesy of the mannequin that's somewhere around here. She's hiding in the office. <laughs> yeah, she needs to stay in the office. She scares me a little too much. She is kind of scary. Yeah. So yeah, we're using this metal plate here. These horns I, I read have like the best like reviews on them. They're not like the original ones because I didn't want to spend $700 on the original ones because people are really oh, proud of them. Is that how much they are? The original ones are like all metal and they have, they look very similar. I don't know, if, actually I don't know if they're all metal. Jubilee, I believe it's called, or Jubal Air or something like that. So people have them, they refurbish them, and then they sell them for like 700 bucks, which I don't think it's worth it, because I've heard these, this exact one. It's cheap, but it sounds pretty solid. And finding the original horns like near impossible. But yeah, it's pretty obvious how this works. Little air outlets there, color-coded, and then 
I'm probably gonna use the remote that I used for the Prius with the ship horn. For horn blasters, so if I can find the little remote that should be in my truck, we're gonna use this and uh, we'll be able to use a remote on it from in the truck or out wherever. Oh yeah. Paid professional. Oh yeah. For now, I'm just gonna run this thing off the ship horn switch. And then I need to go get my other, I was gonna run off the remote switch like I had in the, the Prius, like I said, but I don't know if I gotta find the remote for it. It's not in the truck, so it must, must, must still be in the Prius. <laughs> You'll love to hear it. They sound beautiful. All right, we're gonna wire this sucker up now. Anyone ask for Dixie horns on a silver platter? That's me. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Actually, really good, actually. <laughs> Custom. Dude, we're professionals. You got it. He's the fabricator. I'm the electrician. And we're awful. We'll burn your shit one way or another. No, yeah, sir. This is undercooked. Ah. Back to the kitchen! <laughs> What's that uh, epic sound that like? Ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you haven't heard that? It's like the like church music. This camera's pointing. Yeah, this camera's pointing directly at your crotch. All right, guys, this thing is uh, pretty much done. I gotta probably clean up, clean up a little bit. We decided to put it in the bed just because the horn's already, the big ship horn's already back here, and it kind of looks cool. We decided to mount them straight up. No reason why, really. It looks cool, and you definitely be able to hear it. I think it would be cool, though, because in the light, like, with the mirror plate behind it, it's gonna look sick. Oh, you know what we should do for this situation? We should grab the SP Tools light. Oh, yeah. Shout out to SP Tools. Yeah, as you guys know, that's all I use. I literally all I use. SP tools. Um, uh, I think it's over on the orange bench. All right, guys. So uh, SP tools is actually running like a promotion right now from now to the end of July. Um, as you guys know, I'm big into SP tools. It's all I use. Um, it's an 800 lumen LED and Bluetooth speaker, magnetic. It's super bright. We literally haven't even charged it yet, and it's how long we had like a week and a half. Yeah, at least. And it's still rolling full charge. Uh, I don't know how it's doing that, but it is. They run in the promotion, you get this, and you get this Bluetooth battery tester. We're gonna use it at the end of the video on, we're gonna give it a shot on Denver's truck, and then we're gonna give it a shot on your truck. And uh, you know, we think the battery in this truck is in bad shape, so we're gonna give it a shot on this one. But yeah, I'll put the link in the description, like I said, now until the end of July. Literally this thing is like 120 bucks on its own. Yeah, and this is. And that's 80 on its own. And you get both of them for 120 bucks. And that's a steal. This thing's impressive. It is very impressive. You guys will see at the end of this video. Um, we'll go over everything. So go check it out, guys. Link in the description. Yeah. You guys want to hear it? All right. It's actually really loud. <laughs> it's very. It's actually really loud. Like it's not as loud as this thing, but it's it's very loud. It like, like like it hurt my ears just standing here. Like. Yeah. It, it. Yeah. It's very loud, actually. And it actually sounds solid. Like it actually sounds pretty close. Yeah. It's, like it's for being a cheap, a cheap one of Amazon, like it's pretty impressive. How much was that? I think it was like forty bucks or something. That's really not for for the price, the quality ratio. That's worth it. It might have been a little bit more than that actually, because I had, I have two. The ones that I gave away, um, and I think those ones were like forty. This one might be seventy. Yeah. But it might be. I'll I'll link in the description, of course. But if you're dedicated enough to like wrap a vehicle or something like that, that's I feel like every vehicle should have it. I, I might put it on my vehicle just to tell people to get out of the way. Yeah, and they, they, like I bought the is it Wolo um, kit, so it comes with a harness. Um, we had to change the harness up a little bit, but it worked out fine. So you're gonna wanna scan the little QR code on here, which is actually gonna bring you to a battery tester app. We're gonna install it, pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, you guys have no idea. Well, unless you guys seen this at Daytona or seen this truck in person. Uh, it's huge. My truck's big. As you guys know, like I'm, I'm little. I'm a little over nine feet tall, and this thing's that much taller than me. 
Like I'm a, I'm a tad bit over nine feet. He's, I mean, he's eight foot seven. So I mean, shows you how big this truck is. Both of us are not even six foot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like half a foot below six foot. <laughs> he's five three. <laughs> I'm actually illegal with it. <laughs> He was one of the seven dwarves at one point. He no longer does it. Cinderella's my mom. <laughs> it's so white, but... <laughs> I Duramax out and go rip the horns around here. We're gonna see this, try this test on Rory's truck. See, I see how, like if we get similar results on his truck. I think it's pretty impressive though, like what it has, like the options. Yeah. It has like all kinds of like different modes you can run through, like hold it at idle, um, lights on, all accessories on. It just kind of shows you like how your charging system is working, um, how well your battery's holding the charge, how well it holds a load with everything on. So it's kind of cool. Got the Huracan here. You guys absolutely hate it, but it's here. Everyone's going to leave the video now because it's here. Dude, if it's a ship horn, HOA drama or Duramax Cummins video, people are instant. Seven Huracan, unsubscribe. <laughs> State of health, 100%. State of charge, 100%. So his batteries are in really, really good condition. It says good battery right there. Um, so that just confirmed that Denver's batteries are in rough shape, <laughs> like really bad. Because his are showing, what, 137 cold cranking amps? Yeah, and we're at 1,000. That's awful. Um, and this this also has a lot of other features where you can test while cranking um your how low your voltage will drop your cranking time and your charging system you can do an unloaded test on it we don't need to obviously we know the truck's good but this battery tester for being so little and compact has a ton of features and i think i mean you're, you're literally getting this thing for like as a it's a throw-in yeah it's a throw-in <laughs> with the, the light and this is like this is well worth the 80 dollars that they normally are so getting this for free is huge yeah now guys i'm not doing this as like a promotion because i'm gonna get paid off of it i'm not doing it this is just a really good deal and i want you guys to know about it because uh why wouldn't you this is like an 80 dollar battery tester and the light's like 90 bucks right or 120. yeah something like that the light's 120 but you get this for free so you get a super nice uh 800 lumen led yeah, magnetic bucks. and bluetooth and you haven't even charged it yet right no i i I've literally used it for a week straight. I kid you not, like five full days of use. It's still full. And I haven't even touched the charger. And like the battery indicator on it literally says full. Or is it four bars or five? It's full, isn't it? It's full, it's four bars. Yeah, it's, five. it's literally full still. We haven't even touched it. We just opened it, used it, and uh, we, we haven't even tried to charge it yet. We are going to go on the main road and give this thing a rip. Uh, it sounds awesome. I'm actually really impressed how it sounds. It sounds it's, sick. It's, it sounds good and it's pretty loud. And it's cheap. And it's cheap. I got it on Amazon, so I might put it on everything. The golf cart. Dude, we should. The Huracan. Should I do it in the Huracan?
your I'm about to put the truck back in the shop for now it turned out amazing it sounds really good that chrome looks really cool that, that was a legendary idea honestly yeah he, he came out of the office there with this thing i'm like all right it looked it's perfect i think it looks it's there literally could have been we have like no scrap metal here because we just opened yeah but like there's literally no better piece than that yeah like it, it literally fits everything on it perfectly and yes someone's gonna say those are gonna fill with water i have a tonneau cover it's gonna be covered so we're good um what would you guys rather have at the ship horn or the dixie horns obviously the dixie horns are more fitting for this truck but it's hard to argue with the ship horn why not have both they both run <laughs> that's true and they both work like side by side like you know yeah yeah they're both on their own switch one runs off a uh on-demand compressor this thing would be a yoon if it had a compressor like directly to it no god that I got a big rip. compressor i am really happy with how that turned out thank you rory for helping yeah of course anytime he does decent work over here you know i wouldn't bring my vehicle here but no thanks we're, li we're literally trying to open promote the business and yeah. it shuts us down yeah well, he owns the shop anyway, so he pays the bills. I don't care. Yeah, I own the business. I own everything here. So this place is opening soon and uh, they do basically everything. So and it's right by my house and I'll be here like every day. So if you guys have any ideas on what I should do next with these horns, should we go like like the mall or something or like Pier Park here? Oh, I'm down for that. I'm all about the attention. The ship horn. What's cool about these horns is like they're not like they're not really going to get you in trouble, whereas this is like clearly a noise uh you know violation yeah, that's like noise pollution i guess yeah. they call it but these aren't i mean these are very they're very loud i'm actually surprised how loud they are with that little thing a little 12 volt compressor they're loud and it's funny because people laugh when you see it versus like this is like you're blowing someone's head off <laughs> <laughs> so, someone's having a heart attack if this one goes off yeah. this one people think is funny so it's cool to have both this one can get you in trouble this one's just make people makes people laugh and it goes with the theme of the truck so it's perfect but uh yeah that is that is gonna do it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed this uh, you see the rory in basically every video from here on <laughs> yeah, you're gonna see rory in every video basically from here on out so i hope you're uh ready for that i don't know if i'm ready for it but it, it's gonna happen so uh yeah if you guys enjoy this video please give it a like if you haven't subscribed yet you like dixie horns and if you like rory also go subscribe to his channel because he has one Resurrected Diesel Performance. Link in the description to his channel. It's just Resurrected Diesel on YouTube. Yes, but the shop is Resurrected Diesel Performance. And, uh, yeah, he works on diesel stuff sometimes. sometimes. Uh, <laughs> but I'm not putting Dixie Horns on a general lead direct. <laughs> yeah, he does Dixie Horn installs and then sometimes Diesel Performance. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.